damn near road dogs and highway hounds. No radio in this truck. Enjoy the silence. I put one in here, but I just... I just uh, don't feel like it right at the moment. So today is Trump's inauguration day. If you know me, I'm a libertarian. I'm a big Ron Paul supporter. I haven't voted for a Republican or a Democrat for a long time. Until, you know, whatever. Until this year. But, uh, just thinking back historically, eight years ago when Obama took office. Right now, like prior to his inauguration, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. I thought that was weird. How in the heck do you win the Nobel Peace Prize when you haven't even served one day in the presidency? Kind of strange, isn't it? made my respect for people who've won the Nobel Peace Prize go way down. It's Nobel Peace Prize don't mean squat to me anymore. Because he went, went on to pretty much cause non-stop warfare for the next eight years. And, uh, how he won the Nobel Peace Prize is pure politics, it's pure posturing, it's pure, it's pure the stuff that I can't stand in, in, in this world. I supported Ron Paul big time back then and uh, actually got to meet him. If you look, look at my Twitter, account at BTC4LTC uh, you can see a picture of me with him that was in Muscatine, Iowa I got you know, I mean, it was just like a second they were like getting, right, getting you right through the uh, lines and I kind of got a little hey what's up, it's like get out of the way it's like I'm kind of blurring the picture can we take, now? Nah, you're done it was real fast because there was Tons of people there. Boy, that that election was a jacked up mess. That, the primaries were. That's where the that's where the uh, rubber really meets the road. We had Republican uh, people in Iowa. I should do a I should do a video on that and recall what happened because I had a first hand view of what happened in Iowa during the uh, during the primary race for Ron Paul. So I'm a big libertarian. I think the government that governs the least governs the best. I'm thinking about Trump today because he's being inaugurated, and I'm and and I can't help but think back to Obama winning the Nobel Peace Prize before he got in office and going on to cause eight more years of warfare. And and what I'm observing now from Trump. From the time he won the election until the time that he is uh, going to take office, what I what has he done? Carrier has come back from Mexico; they're not leaving anymore. Ford has come back; they're going to start rebuilding Detroit. General Motors. Building two plants, or I, I don't know, I'm, I'm hearing all these things. Uh, Alibaba, that website, I got on there and looked at it, see what it is. It's a wholesaler thing, you know, trying to connect with, with Chinese, uh, or, you know, manufacturers. Uh, something's going on with that about uh, a million jobs coming here. I don't know how that works out, but talking about moving. I don't know what's going on with that but that's kind of weird and uh, and then I, I was uh, he 
in the uh, shop yesterday and I'm talking to a driver and he says U.S. Steel is hiring a bunch of people. That interests me because I am a uh, I'm a flatbedder. I love flatbeds. That, that's what I, if I do anything, that's what I do. <coughs> but uh, and you see, here's the thing, and I don't know if you know this about truck drivers, but we see the economy before anybody else does. If things are drying up, we see it first. Because as soon as things stop, believe me, we know about it. And uh, when he said that, I was like, oh man, now you know what that means. That means there's going to be a lot of flatbed freight. I love flatbed freight. I love hauling low steel. Some people don't like to tarp it. They like pulling their sissy wagons and they can just... pulling their sissy wagons to where they can uh, just shut the doors on it. But I would, uh, unconstitutional 
anti-freedom, anti-liberty, anti-American. And Obama took it to another degree. What I fear is that Trump is going to take it way beyond. And what I'm for is for getting back to the Constitution. That being said, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. That's my thoughts on this day of uh, Trump's inauguration. So, adios, muchachos. I'll catch you later.